Sparks Goth Creative Hair Competition hit Manchester City Centre this weekend, showcasing talent and bringing industry professionals together. The exclusive Midland Hotel played host to this spectacular event as 17 teams battled their way through to the final stage showcasing their creations. Pressure was mounting and the atmosphere was electric as young hopefuls worked fast to finish their masterpiece just in time to hit the catwalk. Following trends of the recent Vogue Fashion Night Out, this event has once again proven that Manchester can be the fashion capital of the North. Basically with Jack's hair, I wanted to go break away from that heavily disconnected sort of feel into something a little bit more um, of a visual blend. Um, in terms of styling, what we wanted to do is go for something a little bit more Aggie and Sam, Katie Eary sort of inspired, which is very strong centre party. Um, in terms of styling, I'm quite a loose sort of guy myself in terms of styling, so what we did, just put a little bit of gel, raked it back just for the size, just so it has a little bit more coming off the face rather than swinging into the face, which that kind of goes a little bit 90s, but a bit more of a modern day twist really. Clothes scattered everywhere and makeup desks overflowing set the scene of Manchester's emerging talent as they work tirelessly to compete against other teams. Top brand specialist Tony and Guy looked professional and calm as they worked on models with their sights set on being crowned the Schwarzkopf Creative winners. Thousands came from near and far to witness the epic battle between the competitors. Dressed to impress and all eyes on the catwalk, members of the public cheered on to loyally support their teams. So we basically tongue through the ends um, just to give it a little bit of texture and then with the roots we've just um, painted on some gel and some glitter, mixed it together, just to give it that really high end fashion feel. It's a bit of a nightmare trying to get the models to come here but in the end I think we've actually got the best models um, and it worked out for the best. Um, Manchester's a really cool city, it's really up and coming and I think to be honest in the end it will probably end up being just as expensive as London is. <laughs> this has been Sean Maloney reporting for Keys TV.